All right, well, is it important to uh, quench your thirst this week as our temperatures soar? But no matter how hot it is outside, our bodies need to stay hydrated. So how much water should we be drinking each day? Good question. Jeff Wagner learned the age-old suggestions might not be necessary. It's warm out, ladies. Do you need any water? Bottle water? Relief? Free. I promise. In a bottle. You might not think you need water, but you need water right now. What water lacks in excitement? Too hot to not stay hydrated. So hot. <laughs> is made up through necessity. I wasn't really thirsty, but this is one of those days that even if you don't feel thirsty, it's really good to hydrate. So I'm glad you gave it to me. How much water should we be drinking every day? Eight glasses. Eight glasses a day, right? Some scientists recommend much more. Nearly four liters for men per day and nearly three liters for women. But the actual number is fluid. There's not even an exact amount, although a good place to start is that old myth of eight cups a day. Dr. David Hilden works in internal medicine at Hennepin Healthcare. He said people who aren't very active are fine to drink under eight cups. But if you're laying down pavement on a day in the 90s leading to excessive sweating... You need to dramatically increase whatever it is that you're, that you're drinking. It affects our health in lots of ways if we're short. Maybe you're an older adult. Maybe you're pregnant. Maybe you're ill. Those folks do need probably more than eight cups a day. Are there other ways for us to get water besides just drinking water? I think through fruits and vegetables. 20% of your water comes from food. And that counts toward your daily intake, as does the water from other drinks. You can get water through tea, through beer, through coffee. Coffee just probably wouldn't be best mm -hmm. right now because of the temperature, too. <laughs> Pretty bad. <laughs> Could I be hydrated by just jumping into a pool? Now, you can't get hydrated from just getting wet. It does have other advantages. Swimming can cool your body down, which in turn makes you sweat less and slow down dehydration. I sweat a lot just, my, just normally. It could be a Minnesota day in January. You're going to lose nearly a gallon of water through the, what we call insensible losses, perspiration and breathing. That's on top of the fluids we lose going to the bathroom, which, by the way, is a good way to monitor your hydration. Light yellow urine, you're good. Anything darker than light yellow, you need to dramatically increase your fluid intake. Water? Free water? It's hot out, man. Jeff Wagner. You're welcome. From WCCO. Have a nice day. Four News. <laughs> Dr. Hilden says the most important thing to remember is to simply drink water when you're thirsty. And while drinks like beer and pop do contain water, they should not be your main source of hydration. If you have a good question for Jeff, just email him through WCCO.com links.